Hello everyone, this is Space Elephant from the Might and Magic Duel of Champions team in Quebec City. I'm here to show you the new upcoming features in our next update, due for the end of July. Let's check it out. The first thing we change is the friends list that we improve with what we call the rich presence. Actually, you can toggle when you are available, away, or if you are in a very important tournament, you can choose the do not disturb option. One of the new features is the challenge a friend option. When you look at your friends list, you will see who's online, and then you can, of course, open the chat box. And clicking this new icon, you can challenge a friend. When you challenge a friend, it will receive a pop-up notification with the option to accept the challenge or not, which is unranked. We added the challenge tab right here, and you can see that I have a pending challenge waiting. You will also notice that we revamped the interface a little bit to make it more ergonomic. If you go in the tournament section, you will see that we can now create official Ubisoft tournaments. For example, community managers in your country will be able to organize official tournaments with passwords and then you'll be able to join in. Now, if you go in the option menu, you will see that we now have new tabs. We combined sound and video options, and we also put a social tab right there. You will see that you can now block invites if you are too popular on the battleground, and you can also toggle the chat filter, which means you can choose if you want to block bad words or allow them. Just like in Mortal Kombat, if you remember, where we had the option to see the real blood. The last but not least feature we added is the Twitch SDK, a very exciting feature that allows you to stream your duels live on Twitch TV without the use of a third-party software. Basically, in the option menu, if you go on the Twitch tab, you can directly connect to your Twitch account. If you don't have a Twitch account, you can register for free on Twitch.tv. You can then choose the quality of your stream by clicking HD. It will stream in 720p, and if you have a lower internet connection, just don't choose that option and it will broadcast in a lower quality. So now, I click the play button. I will wait in a few seconds. You will see the red dot appearing right here. Oh yeah. So when I go to my Twitch dashboard on my Twitch channel, you will see that now it's loading and then... Oh yeah, it works! By the way, you can follow me. My name is Dev Space Elephant. We also have an official Twitch channel called Duel of Champions. You can then title your broadcast, just right here. Let's say, tutorial about features. You can toggle if you are playing or not, and make sure to choose Might and Magic Duel of Champions in that field right here, so all Twitch users will see that you are playing the game. So, when I'm done, I go back to the game, I click the stop button, and when I go back to my dashboard, it's back to the offline screen. That's awesome. So that's it, folks. I hope you will enjoy those features. My name is Space Elephant, and see you on the battleground.